Here's how to factory reset your iPhone. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings here, and we need to make sure everything is backed up. So tap on your name at the very top. And after we've done that, you can see midway down is iCloud. Let's tap on iCloud. And you can see it says save to iCloud. I'm gonna hit see all here and make sure everything I want to be saved or backed up to the iCloud is turned on. So scroll through this list of various apps and everything and toggle them all on. Keep in mind, for instance, for if you have Messenger turned off and you get a new phone or reset this phone, then you won't be able to get any of that data necessarily. You might want to back it up on your iCloud. So after we've done that, let's just go back here We'll tap on iCloud Backup. Now you can see Backup right here. I'm gonna hit Backup now just to create a new version of this backup. Essentially, it's a screenshot of what this phone looks like right now. And if I get a new phone after factory resetting this one, then I can just bring everything back basically to how it was right now. After I've done that, let's just go back out of here. We will tap on General. And then at the very bottom, we'll hit transfer or reset iPhone. I can tap on that and I can tap on erase all content and settings. By doing this, it will erase this phone and bring it back to the factory default. And on here, it does a really good job of walking through and doing all of the steps that you need to make sure that your privacy is secure and there's no data left over or basically find my or the wallet, credit cards, anything like that. It says it will erase all personal data, it will sign you out, it will remove your wallet, your credit cards, it will remove your eSIM as well. So it will essentially unlink your carrier's eSIM with this phone. All you need to do is hit continue and you can hit this delete eSIM and erase data. And basically by going through this process, it will remove everything, sign you out, but you have just created that backup. So essentially at this point, all you need to do is hand your phone to someone else. If you're giving your phone away or selling it or whatever, you can at that point clean it up, hand it over with the charger, all that stuff. But keep in mind, if you ever do get a new phone, you have that backup. Essentially using that iCloud backup, you can always bring everything back to how it was right now and get all of your data, your messages, your iMessages, your photos, all of that stuff back onto your new phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.